Hey guys, Shane Stars with Droid Modder X. Can you tell the difference between these devices? If you can't, no worries. This device is designed specifically to mimic the device on the left here. This is the HTM 8100, and it is designed to look and feel exactly like a Galaxy Note 3 by Samsung. Uh, now you'll notice some subtle differences. Obviously, the sensors are uh, placed a little differently. They're almost identical. Home buttons are identical. The ridges uh, on the side are identical. Volume buttons are identical in placement. Power buttons identical in placement on the top. Um, microphone and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack are identical in placement. Uh, cameras are even identical in placement. Speaker is almost the same here uh, in placement. This one has no S Pen, but as far as the weight and balance, they feel exactly the same, other than the fact that uh, this has a Samsung logo and it has a Galaxy Note 3 on the back. This one has an HTM. Just by feeling the devices, you're not going to notice much of a difference. Now, this HTM device was shipped to me by DH Gate, and I'm going to do a quick review. So, before I really get started here, while this is a pretty neat device. You want to be sure that you check the network on, uh, you'll need to check the network with your carrier because your network is more than likely not supported on this device if you're in the United States. In fact, on the back of the box here, it gives you a whole list of the network. We'll also go ahead and cover uh, the specs of this phone here. The display is a 5.7 inch 1920 by 1080 display. It is an IPS LCD. It has a gigabyte of RAM with an external SD card that's capable of up to 32 gigabytes. This has an octa-core processor. So this one has a quad-core processor. This one actually has an octa-core processor. The front camera is a two megapixel camera and the rear camera is a 13 megapixel camera. The battery capacity here is 2000 milliamp hours. It does have NFC, GP, RS, and Edge. So we'll go ahead and boot up both devices. Okay, so we'll take a look at uh, the software of both versions, we've got the Note 3 on the right, we have the HTM H100 on the left. They're both running Android, so if we go into settings on this device, we'll go to more. And you guys can see that this is a TouchWiz-like experience. They've tried to make it as much like the Note 3 as possible. It's running Android version 4.2.2 out of the box. Uh, we'll look at the Note 3. I'm going to settings and about phone. You guys can see we're running 4.4.2. So while we have Jelly Bean on this device, we actually have KitKat on the Note 3. And so you're going to notice a ton of differences. Um, we'll go ahead and try to turn up the brightness here so you can kind of see the screen. And this is supposedly a 1080 screen, uh, but for some reason the Note 3 just seems much more vibrant, uh, much more brilliant. And just by looking at the screens themselves, you can definitely see a difference. For some reason, this screen seems a little dimmer and it just looks a little cheaper. Um, it doesn't look as pixel dense as the screen on the Note 3. Okay, as we go through, you guys can actually see just a little bit of lag on this device. Now, it's running a quad core, I'm sorry, this one's running an octa core processor, so you would think that there would be absolutely no lag whatsoever. Uh, but this is a skinned, somehow it's a skinned TouchWiz-like, or maybe it just has some sort of theme built onto it to resemble TouchWiz. The Note 3 actually moves a whole lot quicker. So the Note 3 uh, is a little faster even with the quad-core processor. If we launch both of the app screens, you guys can kind of see the difference there. Do that again. And you guys can see a slight difference. The Note 3 has the edge. Um, this has the multi-window. Uh, to launch that, you would just press and hold the back button. I uh, hear it's always there. You just press the button. And as far as I can tell, there's absolutely no way to get rid of that. So if I press and hold the back button, it's not going to get rid of uh, the multi-launcher. If I press and hold the back button here, it does get rid of that multi-window launcher. With the menu on both phones, you guys can see you get pretty much the same sort of menu uh, on both phones. Quite a bit more settings on the Note 3. If we press and hold the home button, it's going to launch a recent. So you get the pretty much the same view on the recents here. You can clear apps on either. If you press and hold both of the menu buttons, it's going to launch Google Now on the Note 3. And it's not going to do anything on the HTM device. Okay, if we go ahead and launch the app drawer on the HTM, 
Uh, you get a few little applications here. You get a backup and assist. You do get this uh, FM radio application. You get this documents application. You do get a flashlight application. They have this notebook application, which I guess is supposed to be similar to the S Notes application. And that's really about all that you get here. Uh, if you open up the widgets, you see that you do get quite a few widgets here. And you guys can just see the lag on this device. Uh, for what it is and the price that it's running, um, it's actually not a bad device. If you can find a carrier that supports the bands on this device, it may be worth saving $500 on this device versus this device. Most of your friends won't know the difference, of course, obviously, unless they see that HTM logo. You'll know the difference, but like I said, most of your friends probably won't know the difference. Uh, it's said to support all 2G and 3G bands, but you'll have to make sure that you do check with your carrier. It's, it supports GSM 850, 900, 1800, 1900 megahertz spectrums, and WCDMA 850 and 2100 megahertz. So that's not every carrier, uh, but your carrier may or may not support this. You want to be, be sure that you do check on whether or not it is supported. All that being said, looks very similar, acts very similar uh, to the Note 3, but it just doesn't quite stand up to the Note 3. The Note 3 is by far the better device, and you will be able to tell the difference between the HTM H100 and the Galaxy Note 3. I'll be sure to include a link in the description of where you can purchase this from DHgate. Uh, if you want to save $500 on this device versus just buying uh, the Note 4 or the Note 3 outright, more power to you. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage like this in the future. You can find more of me at DroidModerX.com. Follow me at DroidModerX. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.